Well, hi, and thanks for joining me in my shop. Appreciate the company. And what I'm doing is I'm changing all these paper capacitors in this radio. And this is a uh, what is this? This is a Philips radio receiver 922. And the problem I'm having with it is uh, when it operates, it sounds like a component is in the process of failing. It makes crashing sounds, like sound like lightning. And yeah, that's what we've taken out of it so far. And uh, hopefully, by changing out these capacitors, I will either eliminate the failing capacitor at that point, or I will know it's none of these because they're all gone. That's kind of the idea. So. Next thing we're going to do is this bigger one up here. Point oh two seven. <laughs> All these point oh two sevens. Come on, please. .025. I'm trying to get the point oh two seven. So I would need a uh, point zero zero five. So let's see, these two if I got this right now, so this is a point zero zero five. And this one's a point zero Point zero two two point zero two zero two and a .002. That's it. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I don't even know if it's really necessary to be honest with you. And uh, burning up my capacitor supply like crazy doing this kind of stuff. So you see there's nothing cheap above this. I'm using two capacitors. But well, it's still cheap, don't, don't get me wrong. These parts cost almost nothing really. Does this have any detrimental effect on the operation of the radio having capacitors done this way? Oh, I don't think so. Now, this is a very simple radio in front of us here. Um, whoops. Just because I don't think it has any notion that there's two capacitors here. I don't think it's that smart of a radio. So we're coming from here. going. <laughs> uh, yeah, where's the other lead? What happened here? Kind of lost. It was a great big lead, wasn't it? It's a great big bare wire. Where'd it go? Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh, there it is up there. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly why I leave those wires there, because... I certainly don't have a good positional memory, and I'm not making good use of it anyway. I look away, and when I look back, you know, unless I really made a purposeful note in my head as to where the uh, capacitor belongs. I often don't remember. wires a little big. I didn't apply the heat long enough, I don't think. That got it that time, I'm pretty sure. was smart of me. I cut it out and then I just set it down. I think it's this one. Without looking at it. 0 0.01. I wonder what the uh, makers of these radios would have thought had they had the notion that what they were building, that their handiwork, the person who built this radio, or people who built this radio, had any notion that in the year 2014, the radio would still be around, somebody would be putting time and effort into it. I'm sure what they thought was, uh, you know, this will be good for 10 years, 15 years, and then you're going to buy a new radio. And this guy will just go in the scrap heap, as so many of them did. stuff back in the 50s and 60s and that. Like my transistor uh, tester behind me here. Um, tens, twenty thousand dollars for instruments, stuff like that I imagine. And uh, you know, where are they today? 
piled up in warehouses doing nothing, yet they still perform the same function. Ah, well. Because today you would get a uh, computer, like, like a computer, like an oscilloscope. So uh, who needs to buy an oscilloscope oscilloscope when you can just get a pretend one on your computer out of software? It may work even better in many ways. So does anybody know what I was just babbling about? Because I don't know. What was I babbling about? <laughs> Don't fall over. Put you to sleep. Yeah, why do I keep knocking this thing over? I really didn't see, I really don't see how it's happening. Cords interfering here or something, I don't know. Okay, don't lose track of what you're doing, Jim. That's exactly the kind of thing that'll end up distracting me and I won't solder a connection. Like, for instance, if the house caught on fire, I probably wouldn't remember when the house was rebuilt, you know, where, where I was with this. Okay. Hopefully my dry sense of humor is coming across here. Next guy would be this big one here. What's this guy? This guy is a 0 .082. 0 .082. Where do they come off with that kind of 0 .082? Come on. 0 .082. What am I going to do with that? Well, what's it doing? It's grounding the uh, radio chassis. How critical can that be? Why can't I put a point Oh, why can't I put a point one there? Why a point oh eight two? And considering the value of these capacitors are all off, they're certainly probably you know very few of them would still be their rated capacitance. They will drop down in capacity. Uh, uh, I don't see any reason I can't put a point one there. Why is it so bloody big, too? Is it is that really high voltage? Uh, 600 volts. These are all 600 volts. Not all of them. So there's a 0 0.01. Somebody answer me this question. Here's a 0 0.01. Oh, no, 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 that's much smaller, that's much smaller. I was, I was going to say this is virtually the same value as this, but no, it isn't. No, no, no. Okay, stop ranting and get on with it, Jimmy. Point oh 0.082. Type 684. 600 volts. Made in Canada. 1249. What do you think? Think that means December 1949? Be about right for this radio, I think. So, point one's going in there. Point one. my uh, capacitors and I'm not trying to promote something I'm just letting you know I buy mine from a place called Just Radios uh, internet sales they're only located at ten, about 10 kilometers from me here they're in Toronto and I'm just outside Toronto uh, 
good guys to deal with. Good. Uh, I mean, they provide. This is the kind of part you can get from them. That's perfect. Big long leads, fairly heavy leads. Perfect. Uh, okay. So this connection is actually going to that terminal there. Put a smaller piece of insulation in there. never think about it um, because it's just everywhere in our modern lives and has been for quite a while in fact but uh, metal is a really weird weird thing it's really weird since generally speaking metals don't occur naturally on earth yes they do in some cases but uh, things like this metal wire think the, I mean, if, you, if you could have showed up 5,000 years ago with a little piece of metal and just gone like that and then straight, I mean that would have just freaked people out what is that stuff they'd be saying yeah as far as I know anyway it's really strange stuff the way it bends and everything, it's all really weird it's not a naturally occurring thing on the earth Think of it that way. We just take it all for granted. But, uh, you know, just a spring. Even just a spring is enough to, I'm sure, freak people out before uh, anything like that existed. Okay. That's another capacitor done. And uh, maybe I'll just break the video here. Because we have, how many we got left? One, two, three, four, five might be able to do all those in the next video because they're all really straightforward. Yeah, I think I'll break the video here. See you in the next one.